Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about evolutionary codes for the planet and humankind, and the new array I want to cover with you this morning is uh, new codes for relationships. So, you know, if you base your consciousness on the idea that our way of doing things is actually the result of a program, uh, a certain set of behaviors and and certain thought patterns, certain emotional patterns, certain animal patterns, and that we, this, this program is quite precise. If you look at relationships today, okay, marriage, sex life, how you relate to your lover, partner, um, your husband or your wife, how optimized are relationships right now on a planetary base, okay? Between zero and 100%, how good are we at having harmonious, powerful, healthy, fulfilling relationships? What about sex life? Of the people who are watching this video, how many of you are having a fulfilling, happy sex life with somebody that you love, who knows how to respect you, respects your boundaries, is able to play, emotionally mature, good provider, you know, it's like, how many of you are actually hitting the spot where you go like, yes, I'm doing it. So if the level of satisfaction is 10% or 20%, you know, that's not high enough. We have room for improvement. As a human race, you know, the divorce, uh, the life expectation of a marriage in the US is seven years. It means that 50% of couples will be divorced within seven years after marriage. This is after having gone to a wedding and saying to each other, I will marry you for life and uh, I will be with you for better or for worse. And then within seven years, 50% of these people say, I'm out, I don't like it anymore. So there is something which is not really optimized, something is not, not really working. And the same when it comes to your sex life. You know, check your sex life, are you satisfied? Do you feel sex deprived? Do you feel like the person that you love with who you would like to have a relationship is not available, is not there for you, is not responding to your needs, or is not even loving you back the way you love them? So if the answer is yes to these questions, it means that there is space for improvement, okay? So within the codes of Isisa, within this whole sphere of uh, uh, planetary revolution that we are going through right now, there is a set of codes directed to optimizing relationships and sex life. And uh, here's a code which is very simple. When you enter into a relationship, very often the idea is like, because we're in a relationship together, this gives me the right to control your life, to tell you what to do, to tell you what you think, what you should be thinking, how you should be behaving, what you have to wear, and so on. So very often there is this whole set of controlling patterns that are projected on, on your partner, just because you give yourself the right to control that person's life because you think that they owe it to you. And uh, these controlling patterns, think about conflicts in relationships. What is it that, that brings conflicts? It's always the same thing. It's always either you or the other person uh, trying to control an aspect of the other person. It's like, what is going to make your partner react? It's always when you're trying to control their life or trying to tell them what to do, how to live, what career choice to make. And uh, it's the same the other way around. Your partner being demanding, controlling, jealous, possessive, dominant, even abusive. So you remove the controlling pattern out of the equation and you say, I trust the spirit. I trust that my partner is grown up enough to make their own choices in accordance of what matches their uh, best possible evolutionary choices. I mean, it's like, instead of being the one who is controlling things and limiting the freedom of your partner, you open space and you say, I love you rather than I love you. You know, it's, it's a space of opening up. And um, that's it. That's one of the possible codes for a relationship. It's this releasing control, letting go of trying to control the other person's partner, uh, the, other, the other person in, uh, in your relationship, and giving them space to simply be. There is much more to say about that. Communication, sex life, passion, the way you express yourself. Um, I'll be back soon with more tips on that one. I'll see you soon.